Welcome back to the workshop, everyone. My name's Aaron Johnson, and I'm here with Char Music. Today, we are talking about 25 things that can buzz on your violin or viola. Before we get to that list, though, I want to remind everybody to go ahead and subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and we'll be sure to keep bringing you this type of content going forward. And without any further ado, let's get started. If you have a peg that has a black or white pin in the top or a collar on it, these are separate pieces of wood and they can become unglued over time and buzz and rattle. If your strings cross over each other in the peg box, them touching each other within the peg box wall can cause buzzing and vibration at different frequencies. So you wanna make sure that those are running straight and not crossing over one another. If you take a look in your peg box, you might notice that your strings are pulled way too far through the peg itself, leaving a large tail of material on the other side of the peg. You wanna make sure that you have as little material as possible poking through the other side of the peg and that the peg is round, wound correctly. If your open string buzzes, especially when you pitz it and the buzz is long and sustained, you might have a nut groove that is too wide for the string. This causes the string to sort of hit the sides of the nut wall and causes a pretty pronounced buzzing sound. Similarly to number four, this nut groove needs to be higher than the fingerboard. If this nut groove comes out at the same level as the fingerboard, you'll get a strong buzzing sound on open strings. Moving on down the violin, the fingerboard can also buzz. The fingerboard has a curvature in it going from the bridge side up to the nut side that allows the board itself to get out of the way of the vibrating string. If there are humps in the fingerboard, what you're gonna notice are buzzes on specific pitches on specific strings. Usually these buzzes will get a little worse the louder you play. Similar to number six, another thing that can buzz on a violin are finger tapes. So those finger tapes that a lot of us use when we're beginners and we put them on the instrument, those are artificial bumps created on the fingerboard. Playing right behind one of those finger tapes can cause a buzz as well. Now, if you're noticing a very short buzz, one that doesn't sustain, you could have this on your bridge. This is an item called a parchment. It is attached with glue to the bridge and occasionally that can pop loose. And when that pops loose, it has a tendency to buzz and vibrate against the bridge. E strings on the market or A strings for viola can have these protectors on them. These items are designed to do the same task that the parchment is, but if that protector is incorrectly positioned over the bridge, it can buzz. Also, if it's slid down over the string down here below the bridge, it will buzz as well. The last place I've seen these protectors is up in the peg box. So you wanna take a look and see if that protector is floating, where, floating around somewhere on your E string. Finally, if you have a string that is only one string is buzzing and the string buzzes for a sustained amount of time, even when you pluck it lightly, you could have a broken winding in one of your lower strings. Again, if this is a rare thing, but if one of those windings does in fact break, it causes a fairly pronounced buzzing sound that is specific to a single string. If you're noticing a buzz that is fairly metallic in nature, you'll want to check your fine tuner. The fine tuner itself, this screw, can be sitting loosely in that channel and causing a metallic buzz. Additionally, the securing screw underneath it can also loosen over time, again, causing a buzz that is very, very metallic in nature. If you're noticing a buzz that's a little more subtle and just under your ear, you'll want to check your fret. This raised portion on your chin rest, or on your tailpiece right here, this raised portion is a separate piece of inlaid wood, and that can also buzz. It, it'll typically be a very, very short buzz that doesn't last for a long time and is just enough to really bother you. A more rare form of a buzz would be if your tail gut adjuster, which is over here on your instrument and attaches to your tailpiece here, Occasionally, it can be pointing down underneath the, tail, underneath the tailpiece and touching the face of your instrument. This is a pretty raucous sounding buzz when it actually does occur. So just take a peek under there and make sure nothing's poking down and touching the face of your instrument. One of the most common buzzes on a violin 
comes from the tail piece touching the chin rest. You wanna take a peek underneath, looking in this space here like it's a tunnel, and you wanna make sure that the tail piece itself isn't making contact at any point along this curvature with your chin rest. This causes a very, very loud rattling buzz when they touch. Now the tail piece can touch the chin rest underneath the instrument like we just showed you. It can also touch the tail piece or the chin rest up here where the plate of the chin rest extends out. So you wanna take a look and make sure that the tail piece isn't touching the chin rest farther up the tail piece around here. Now for another one of the most common issues for buzzes, we're gonna talk about open seams. An open seam is when the glue joint between the back plate of the instrument or the top plate of the instrument comes loose from the ribs. And that will usually manifest itself in a large, thin opening that goes along one of the bouts. This can happen in the lower part of the instrument, in the upper part of the instrument, also in the middle. This type of a buzz uh, will usually be pitch specific and will get worse the louder you play. Basically, as the top plate of the violin or viola vibrates, it's gonna move that plate and then it's gonna repeatedly hit the rib that it's broken loose from. This repair, you do need to take your instrument into a shop to have them go ahead and glue that seam, but luckily it's a pretty easy process to get that fixed. If you're still having buzzing issues, one thing you can try is taking your instrument and shaking it a little bit to see if you have some sort of interior debris on the inside of the instrument that's causing buzzing and rattling, basically as particles or bits of dust or dirt uh, rattle around on the inside of the instrument. Another more rare buzz that happens primarily on newer instruments is what's called a varnish bridge. And this is where varnish has made a connecting joint between the top of the F-hole and the plate of the instrument. This can happen at the top or at the bottom. These, pit these buzzes are very loud and pronounced. They make a lot of noise. And you can fix them if you visually spot one connecting the two. You can fix those by running a business card through that joint to sort of break that bridge apart. If you take a look on the inside of your instrument, you're gonna notice on most instruments some sort of label in there. Now this is a more rare form of a buzz again, but over time the glue holding that label to the plate of the instrument can pop loose and cause a fairly um, high-pitched buzzing or rattle type sound. Now, if you notice that your instrument is buzzing when you play with a decent amount of force, your bridge could be causing the problem. If your bridge string heights are too low, the strings don't have enough room to vibrate and hit the fingerboard as they go through their pattern. This causes buzzing, especially in the louder dynamics. Keeping with the theme of mechanical pieces and things that screw together, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to check is your shoulder rest. Many shoulder rests have screws and sliding mechanisms, rotating feet and other things that if not secured properly can cause buzzes on your instrument as well. In addition to this, check and see how your shoulder rest is fitting your instrument because if it's loose or not entirely secured to your instrument, you can also get buzzes. Before we get to some of the more serious issues, final thing to check, go ahead and check those chin rest barrels on your instrument because those have popped loose or loosened over time can cause buzzes that you wouldn't otherwise think to check. The next few items on our list are a little more serious. These items are kind of hard to see or invisible when looking at the instrument from the outside and all of them require you to take your instrument into a luthier to have it properly evaluated and repaired. The first one we're gonna talk about are large glue joints on the interior of the instrument that have failed. This could be anything from the base bar, which is a large piece of wood glued into the top of the violin, to linings, which are thin strips of wood glued and lining the edges of the violin that help reinforce those seams. If these things pop loose, including up around the blocks, which are other blocks of wood set in here to stabilize the instrument, if those joints pop loose, you can get some fairly mysterious buzzes that are very, very hard to track down. And next, we have cracks. Yes, we are talking about top cracks, either in the face of the instrument here or back cracks, which can manifest themselves all over the back of the instrument. Now, typically these don't buzz too much because the top is under a significant amount of 
um, securing tension going top to bottom. But if you do have thin cracks in the top of your instrument, typically caused by humidity or maybe the instrument got bumped at some point, those cracks can buzz from time to time. And finally, the last thing that could be buzzing is you. Check yourself for any jewelry you might be wearing, any buttons on your clothes, anything else that might either be coming into contact with the instrument or buzzing by itself as you make music and basically vibrate all the air around you. Anything that you're wearing that could be buzzing could be giving you off, giving off a uh, false signal that uh, something's buzzing with your instrument. Thanks for sticking through all the way to the end of that whole list. And were there any that I missed? If you'd like to see this video for cello or bass, or if you thought of some buzzes that I missed on my list, go ahead and drop them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on The Workshop.